let a a r a r square by an infinite g p whose sum of n terms equals to 57 and we have another g p in which the starting term is a cube and the common ratio is r cube and sum of that series is 9747 we have to find out what is a plus 18 r we know sum of infinite terms is given by a by 1 minus r so we have our first equation a by 1 minus r equals to 57 our second equation is a cube substituting n equals to 0 1 2 3 a cube plus a cube r cube plus a cube r power 6 so we have a gp infinite gp in which first term is a cube and the common ratio is r cube so a cube by 1 minus r cube sum of infinite terms of a gp is given by a by 1 minus r here it is a cube by 1 minus r cube and that is equals to 9747 as first term is a cube and the common ratio is r cube now these two equations we have our approach will be to eliminate a here so that we can get the value of r then come back and calculate the value of a little bit of calculations but the concept is very easy so let's try to eliminate a to find the value of r for that we'll write we can write down a equals to 57 into 1 minus r before doing that let's write down our second equation that is a cube by 1 minus r cube equals to 9747 our a cube equals to 9747 into 1 minus r cube but what is a from the first equation 57 into 1 minus r so we can say 57 cube into 1 minus r whole cube equals to 9747 into 1 minus r cube now we can factorize this and get a quadratic equation out of that little bit of number crunching we have to do so let's do that 57 cube is 57 into 57 into 57 1 minus r whole cube can be written as 1 minus r into 1 minus r whole square why are we doing that because from the right hand side we can take 1 minus r again as common 9747 is 57 into 171 which can be written as 57 into 57 into 3 into 1 minus r into a cube minus b cube is a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square so we'll get 1 minus r into r square plus r plus 1 let's cancel those two 57s then we had 3 will go 19 times in 57 so left out is 19 into 1 minus r whole square after cancelling 1 minus r on both sides 19 into 1 minus r whole square r r minus 1 whole square equals to r square plus r plus 1 so we got a quadratic equation now we have to just find out the value of r only remember that infinite gp will come into picture only when r is less than 1 so whatever the values we are going to get if we get two values we are going to take only that value which is less than 1 so the quadratic equation we got is 18 r square minus 13 r plus 18 equals to 0 sum is minus 39 and product equals to 324 we can write it as minus 27 and minus 12 so that we can factorize and get r equals to 2 by 3 or 3 by 2 r equals to 3 by 2 is ruled out because r should be less than 1 3 by 2 is 1.5 so r equals to 2 by 3 once we got r equals to 2 by 3 then we can easily calculate the value of a because we can go to our first equation which says a by 1 minus r equals to 57 let's get the r value here r values are 2 by 3 or 3 by 2 3 by 2 is rejected 2 by 3 is the value what we are looking for so let's go to the first equation from which we know that a by 1 minus r equals to 57 we need to calculate the value of a so let's go ahead and substitute r equals to 2 by 3 we'll have a by 1 minus 2 by 3 equals to 57 let's simplify that a by 1 by a by 1 by 3 equals to 57 or a equals to 57 into 1 by 3 that's equals to 19 once we know the individual values of a and r what we need to give them back is a plus 18 r so let's go ahead and do that a equals to 19 plus 18 into r 18 into 2 by 3 that's equals to 12 so 19 plus 12 that is equals to 31 so the value of a plus 18 r is equals to 31.
So we have been given two GPs from which we have to eliminate A and try to get a quadratic equation in terms of R. Find out the value of R. Now go back and find out the value of A and give them what they asked A plus 18 R.